Hey guys, we're at a playground. For those who are young at heart, we have a very special electric trike here. This is the Evelo Compass. And I'm actually with one of the designers and leaders at Evelo. This is John. How's it going, man? Going great. How are you this morning? Oh, it's fantastic. Beautiful weather. We're hanging out in Seattle just up the street from your shop. And, uh, you know, we spent a bunch of time going over all the details of this trike. To me, it's pretty special. There are only a few electric trikes out there at any given time. It seems like there are more and more people are realizing like, hey, I want to be able to carry my cargo and maybe I want some stability. Uh, but with that comes weight. And this is an 85 pound electric bike. That's with the battery on. The battery is like five and a half pounds. So you can take that off to reduce the weight a little bit. And the front wheel has quick release, so you could reduce the weight even more, but still, it's just heavier. And that's that's what happens when you have uh, an additional wheel and a big basket like this. This is a steel mesh basket with a nice bamboo deck. We've got a really plush, oversized saddle here, some nice ergonomic grips. These are not locking, so they could twist a little bit, but for a bike like this, it's, it's not as much of an issue. I love that both of these brake levers are extra long, and they've got these little locking points, so you can put this on a almost like a parking brake. And we've got this one locked up over here. It's neat to see both brake levers having that and this fun bell, these nice upright bars. They can be angled and tipped back towards you so you don't have to reach very far. This quill stem, it can come up a little bit as well. Nice big color LCD display panel it can be adjusted and even has a little USB port in the bottom. So for the people who wanna bring their phone or maybe put some Christmas lights on their bike or uh, little speakers or something like that, you can do it all with this bike. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It is a purpose-built electric bike, meaning, you know, all these extra wires, they're, they're run through the frame. You can see that over here as well. They stay mostly out of the way. They do come out down here, but you've got an extra gusset for, for added strength. Um, this trike is, is pretty cool because it has a mid-drive right there, and it's encased in aluminum alloy for protection. It also looks really nice. This one's green, kind of a forest green, and it sounds like you also have a gloss white. Is that, that is right? That is correct, yeah, and the gloss white's new to us. will be available shortly. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty phenomenal to me to have a couple different color choices, to have a really a powerful and proven mid-drive. This is the Bafang BBS02. Um, it comes in a couple different configurations. I think this one's up to 90 newton meters of torque, uh, rated 500 to 700 watts. That, that is correct? correct, 500 watt continuous and then 700 peak. It's, it's nice to have that much power, especially when you're potentially hauling a lot of gear. And this has a higher maximum weight rating. Can you remind me what was that? It does. So 350 pounds total weight. Total weight, okay. And John and I were talking about like, what does that mean? I was like, what's the, what's the weight capacity for this rear cargo? And he's like, meh. We don't really have one. You can. We've put people in there and ridden around. Is yeah, that right? We have. We've had actually a 200-pound employee in the back, and then another guy who's uh, maybe 180, maybe a little less. He's working on it. Wow. Uh, riding the bike and worked out great. So super stable. But the combined weight, you know, maybe if you did have 100 pounds of cargo back there, lift carefully, lift with your knees. <laughs> uh, but then a, a rider who's a couple hundred pounds, maybe even you know 250 pounds, it would still work. This bike would still still be strong enough for you and i think part of part of that comes back to the reinforced frame this aluminum alloy frame and these nice nice wheels so these are 24 inch um a lot of times you'll see folding bikes with like 20 inch and then you'll see sort of traditional around town bikes with like a 26 or 28 inch but 24 is like right in between so it keeps the the mass low on this bike. It also means you can have shorter spokes. Uh, these are 13 gauge spokes, a little bit thicker. So it's just sturdy all the way around. And then these really cool CST Cyclops tires. You'll notice that they're a little bit fatter, which gives you stability and comfort because they have a higher air volume. And these are 24 by 2.4 inches and they even have this reflective sidewall stripe. And so if you're worried about like, gosh, you know, I'm on a trike and I'm not really comfortable with traffic. They've really got you covered with those reflective stripes, integrated headlight that points where you steer. You can kind of see that. And then two backlights right here. And the backlights are great. Not only do they kind of light up when you activate the lights, but if you're pulling the brake lever, they go bright mode. Down here, you can see there's actually two battery packs. Uh, and one of these is just kind of a dummy for display in this review, but they both have big reflectors on them and you can double your range effectively with these. So, you know, 48 volts, 11.6 amp hours. That's a pretty sizable pack. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of, it's a love hate thing with the, 
battery position for me. Because on the one hand, they stay out of the way of this cargo basket. They're not taking up any space. They're not getting in the way when you step over this bike. It is sort of a step through, so it's not gonna have to pick your leg up quite as high or have any hip sensitivity on this trike. However, when you go to charge this thing, I mean, you kind of have to bend way down here and the, the charging point, is, it's right there. There's this little rubber cap and you can see it's kind of hard to get to it, for me at least. You have to kind of reach back there and maybe run the wire through the spokes of the bike or something. Uh, getting these packs off also requires a little bit of finessing. You kind of have to unlock them right up here. And there's one locking cylinder and a second one over there. They use separate keys. So this bike has, you know, a total of two keys, but they give you an extra. So four keys is how many it comes with. And you're kind of bending down to do that. And then you're pulling on the pack like this. And it's just a little bit more bending than I like to do because I do have sensitive knees. This is one of the trade-offs that most of the trikes have. I mean, I, I really haven't seen a trike with a battery that's any more accessible, but I want to point that out and just reiterate that you take your time. I think I would leave the active battery pack on the left side because see how much easier it is to get to that charging port and then that little power button right there. I try to get this rubber cap seated again. That's one of the other challenges sometimes with these, these battery packs. Um, there we go, got it. So this on off switch is kind of nice because if you aren't gonna use the trike for an extended period, maybe you're putting it away for the winter or something, uh, you, can, you can turn the battery off and that's gonna help reduce any phantom power draw from those battery cells. The best idea is to store that in a cool, dry location. I recommend storing it at maybe about half full. You don't wanna let them get below 20% because then it can start to stress the lithium ion cells. Uh, the cool thing is Evelo does have a good warranty. It's sort of a two year comprehensive, um, really everything but the battery gets four years, which is great. And then the battery's prorated after those first two years. So they have great customer service. They've been around since 2012. I've reviewed a bunch of their bikes and they have, most of their bikes are two wheel bikes and they've got some really cool um, kind of step through ones. One called the Galaxy 24 also has these same tires, 24 inch. So this could be kind of a, you know, maybe you have a couple people in your family and you want to work with the same company. They have a bunch of options for you. Here's the charger. It's pretty lightweight and compact, maybe a pound and a half. There's the plug end two amp charger. So it's kind of basic in the world of electric bikes. There are some chargers now that are three or four amps it means they're going to fill the battery faster. The downside is uh, sometimes they're a little heavier, a little bit more expensive. This trike, you know, it's not super cheap. It costs, um, you know, about $32.99. So, you know, you're spending a little bit more money to get it. And that's the case for most trikes. I think the shipping weight and the size and everything probably adds a little bit to the cost. But if you're in the contiguous USA, they do ship it for free shipping's included or if you're in seattle you can come over and visit john and maybe go for a test ride absolutely come on by it was really cool to go into your shop because you had like three of these things lined up we did ready for pickup yeah and this one was the, it was like the only one that was stock the other two had uh nexus which is kind of a shimano component and they had all of the all these different control pads and stuff see how it's kind of spread a little bit on the left a little bit on the right they had one where everything was on the right hand side because they said well there's a gentleman who doesn't have his left arm he still wants to ride a bike he needs a trike because stability is an issue and we moved everything over to the right hand side i thought that was so cool so people can get on this thing and you can basically replace your car or get back out there if you thought maybe maybe you couldn't ride bikes anymore so with all that weight stopping is is a priority I love that they've got those big levers. These are mechanical disc brakes and both of them have motor inhibitors. So anytime you pull the, pull the brake lever, the bike's gonna stop. You're not gonna be fighting with that motor. 180 millimeter rotors, got one up there. And then another one in the back, right through there, you can see it kind of intermingled with the Sturmey Archer three-speed internally geared hub. And that thing's pretty cool. A lot of trikes I've seen from maybe years past, they only had a single speed. And you know, obviously this is a little bit more complex, but it's nice when you're climbing a hill or maybe you just don't want to pedal as fast, you can shift those gears at standstill. And there's even like a shift detection thing. So it cuts power to the motor when you're shifting. So you won't get kind of grinding and mashing, which can be a, an issue on some electric bikes. I love these Bikeman plastic fenders. They got the lights that we talked about a second ago. Uh, in addition, there's a 
nice silver plastic chain cover that looks really good. And then these silver aluminum alloy pedals with rubber tread. So if you slip off accidentally, you're not gonna cut your shin up. Now, what I would say is be very careful when you're on a trike, the best practice I've observed is that you wanna stop completely before you put your feet down and you wanna get on, then turn the display on because the throttle is, is kind of active and you could bump that thing and the trike could take off. And if you accidentally slipped off like this, you could kind of run over your foot and drag your feet. And you just, you don't want to have any accidents like that. that. That's something that I say for all the trike reviews. It's something you just want to be careful of. They're a little bit different than uh, two wheel electric bikes because there is more weight and, and there's just kind of that undercarriage there. Don't want to have someone getting hurt. Uh, this little box right here, that is the controller. So it's gonna send electricity and signals back to the motor right here. And then also to the, uh, kind of from the batteries up to the display panel and the button pad and everything. I feel like the cockpit is, is really nice on this. It's fairly clean. You do have all these wires, but they've got these little kind of Velcro tabs, keeping it as clean as possible. And they do, they do turn all right. So it's not like things are getting really snagged up. Um, you know, I talked about the comfort thing, this saddle before, and I do, I do really like that. Evelo does have like a comfort package upgrade where they have a suspension seat post and some other things. Uh, one of the most popular accessories I hear is this $69 extra wide comfort saddle with a backrest. So people who feel like they want a little bit of extra support, you could get that. And I thought it would be kind of fun just to pack this stuff up. John, will you give me a hand? Thanks, dude. So look at this, it's super convenient just put everything in that basket. We're probably gonna take a ride here in a minute, but I wanna do another walk around and, and ask John, does it seem like I missed anything? Any other highlights you wanna share? Uh, no, the one thing I mentioned is it's obviously it's a little different than riding a regular bike. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you're turning, uh, you wanna kind of weight the inside a little bit, make sure to turn with the handlebars. You don't really lean like you will with a regular that's bike. That's right, right. Uh, so it's just something that's important to note if it's your first strike. I'd definitely recommend starting off in a low level of assist. Mm. But it's a great riding bike, great way to get back, get back out there. That's true. Yeah, I, I feel you. And let's, let's go ahead and I'm gonna wheel this thing over to the shade now. Um, just kind of release that emergency brake. There we go. We'll take it over to the shade so you can see the display panel a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna press that power button for a moment. The display boots up pretty quickly and it does swivel a little bit. It's not removable, but with a bike like this, it's surrounded by the bars and stuff. I feel like that's not a big deal. Okay, hopefully you can see it okay. We've got the clock at the top left, the battery percentage, very nice to have that versus just like five ticks, which would be 20% increments. Percentage is, is much more precise. Speed in the middle, like a speedometer. And then there's actually watts going around outside of the speedometer, giving you some idea of how hard that motor is working. Trip distance is the, uh, it's kind of the default readout down here, but if you tap that I button, you can go from trip distance to odometer, max speed, average speed, time, like ride time and then back to trip distance, so that's pretty cool. And then the plus and minus buttons, those are the ones that are easiest to reach. They're gonna change the assist level. So if we take it down to zero, the throttle doesn't work, there's no assist. Basically, you're just riding with the display, the USB port, and those lights potentially active. So I'm gonna do the lights if we hold that, the light key for a second. You'll notice the display dimmed a little bit, and that's so it won't be distracting at night. There's a little lights icon. We got that Spinninga Kendo up front, really nice. But then we come back to the display and start pressing the plus button. One, two, three, four, and five levels of assist. So you have quite the range here of power. And I, I like to ride in, in some of the lower levels of assist sometimes. It's, it's nice you're not gonna zip off quite as quickly. This does use a cadence sensor with um, kind of 12 magnets in there that, that sense and trigger the motor. Uh, it's not a torque sensor, so it's not about how hard you push. There's a little bit of a delay because it does take the crank five degrees of rotation before it activates. Uh, but that means once you're going, you really don't have to push very hard. You just kind of move your feet, like get, get that exercise going, uh, and, and the motor will respond. And then at any time when you're in one through five, that throttle is hot. So, you know, if I touch that throttle, whoa, you can see it. It's really powerful. It'll take off. Um, and that's the kind of power you need when you're dealing with an extra heavy load, but you've got those brake lever overrides. It's, it's, it's a good setup, but it's, you know, this is a more capable trike. The top speed by default is about 16 miles per hour. So a lot of electric bikes, they're rated up to 20 miles per hour, and you actually can change that in the display settings, which we'll go into in a second. 
but I would be very, very careful because, you know, you can end up kind of tipping the trike a little bit. I have seen people kind of on two wheels and it, it would just be a bummer if you accidentally, you know, your finger slipped off or something. So to get to the settings, you double tap that I button and then it says display settings. Okay, we'll just click into it. We've got the units. We can go from miles to kilometers, brightness, auto off, the maximum power assist. Five is the default, but you can actually lower it if you want to or go up to nine and just have finer increments. Power view, state of charge view, trip reset, wheel size 24 inches, that's, that's exactly right. Speed limit, right now we're actually at 18 miles per hour, so I might go in there and just take it down to 16. Uh, and then sensitivity, password, back. Okay, so now we're, we're basically out. I'm gonna exit that menu and maybe just take a little, a little ride here. Uh, I do want to point out that John's on this really cool, kind of like a gravel bike or something with drop bars. What is this thing called? It is. So, uh, well, we don't have a name for it yet, but it's our gravel <laughs> bike, actually. It's an early prototype. Uh, we're looking at doing a road bike for 2019 in the gravel format. It's just, it's a great uh, kind of compromise between a road bike, something that you can go out and, uh, you know, it's adventure ready. Right, right. It's like, it's aggressive, it's aerodynamic. You got that, that nice sporty geometry going on. And then these slightly bigger tires with traction, not quite as big as these. I mean, these are, these are really something, but kind of neat to see. And I feel like it's a different category of bike, but it's got the belt drive. I mean, a Velo just does some really cool stuff. I thought this was unique. And so thanks for sharing with us yeah, sure. kind of a little preview. Should we get out there and take a little ride now? Always. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm on the trike here, mounting up. I'm not gonna do anything until both feet are on the pedals for safety. You can pedal backwards, which is really nice. And then I can just ease into that throttle a little bit, just ease into it. Look at that, really slow, just going a couple miles per hour. I should have mentioned also that there's a walk mode. So let's pretend that for whatever reason, you don't feel comfortable riding. You can actually hold this minus key for a second and then the, the trike will walk itself. Right, and that's really handy. I've seen people do that if they get a flat tire so that they aren't riding on it. It's kind of nice. And the motor is pretty quiet starting out for how powerful it is. So here we go. Doing great. You can see the power really surging on that display right now. Just gonna take a turn here. at 13 miles per hour but it feels pretty fast just because the way that trikes are set up and then I brake take a nice easy turn very cool and I'm up in a higher gear right now three but I'm gonna go ahead and use that grip shifter to take us down to one it's gonna speed up my pedal cadence and make it a little bit easier for that motor to climb there's John on the sporty bike Pretty cool. I think I might be able to win on this. <laughs> you challenging me to a race? I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I love the utility of, of the trike, the compass trike. Um, yeah, it feels really stable, feels pretty comfortable. You sort of feel like a mast in the wind because when you turn it, the bike doesn't lean, but that's part of the trade off for that, that stability. Uh, there's a little bit of rattling right now because we have some cargo in there and maybe those plastic fenders They tend to be durable, but they have a little bit more noise. We going straight? We can go straight and then cool off the but Yeah, there's a little bit of hear the cargo jumbling about There's our top speed there 16 miles per hour, you know, that's that's quite fast. So I like that in addition to, to raising the assist, you can lower it. Uh, that top speed can be set a little bit lower. So we're going down a big hill right now. I'm gonna do a brake test. This is only with one hand, no problem. Halfway down the hill, complete stop. That's an important test right there, especially if you've got this thing loaded up. Again, 85 plus pounds just for the trike. If you add another battery, it'd be about 90 pounds. Hey John, how much are those additional uh, battery packs for this so the additional battery packs for this are 750 dollars so it's 11.6 amp hour. he said 750 dollars for an additional battery pack i'm going to go up this hill again you can see it's quite steep i'm in the lowest gear 
I'm just gonna throttle it and see what happens. It's actually pretty quiet and we're, we're not having a problem. You know, it's slowed down a little bit. We're going about six miles per hour. But yeah, wow. Keep in mind, I only weigh 135 pounds, but uh, you know, this is this is quite capable. I've had a lot of fun on this thing, and I really, I really appreciate the opportunity to to see these. And it was exciting. Just yesterday, we were talking with a lady in the shop who had a kind of an oxygen uh, generator thing, right? She needed oxygen. Yep, she sure did. And she came in, and she had a bike, just a two-wheeled bike. It was the Evelo. Galaxy 24 and that that's the one that has the same size wheels as this one She'd put like a little bag on the back because Evelo has all these accessories and stuff and she put her a little oxygen machine in that and uh, She was gonna ride around town. I mean, it, you know, she she must have been a little older, too She it was really inspiring and I feel like the trike here could do the same sort of thing Okay, guys, you're connected to the undercarriage sort of an interesting location but I wanted you to be able to see the chain and hear the shifting and just get a sense for how this bike rides and I thought it might be fun. So John was telling me there's a 24 tooth sprocket in the rear and 42 tooth chain ring up front. It's geared down a little bit so that pedaling's a little bit slower, makes it easier to start. It's kind of nice. And from where you're mounted, maybe you can see this bike steering and just go for a little, little cruise with us. with many other trikes um, only the left wheel is actually turning when you pedal and when you use the motor so that left wheel might take a little bit more wear also the width of this trike is about 29 and a half inches so it should fit through most 30 inch doors they design it purposely that way and there's these plastic caps on the end of the the kind of the hubs they might actually be aluminum but they're they're sort of smooth and round so they won't hit you and scrape your leg or maybe uh, mar up your doors quite as much so that's cool there's a lot of really thoughtfully engineered uh, hardware here on this trike including this nice rubber end cap for the for the fender so if you kind of kick it accidentally maybe you're you're turning the trike and something like that it's done pretty well it's such a beautiful neighborhood around here man just all these these old classic houses. What's this neighborhood called again? So, so it's, it's actually, so it's called Madrona. Okay. And uh, it's named after the Madrona tree. If you see some of the trees that have the red bark. That's oh. actually a Madrona and they're pretty popular up here. So hence the name. Wow. And what a fun park we were at before, you know, with like the kids running around and the little basketball, <laughs> basketball hoop set up. Yeah, the guys at the shop can go relieve some stress, shoot, shoot some hoops at lunch. Do that little bit of, little exercise such a beautiful day in Seattle too. This has been really, really special. Neat to see. Hey guys, so we're back at the shop and you can see some of the other trikes. They're getting ready for customers. This is the one with all the, the gear on the left. Look at that, like the brake lever pulls the front and the rear brake. Being a bigger bike, you know, it's really nice if you can come into their showroom and see some of the extra products they have. Maybe you get a bike and you can load it up in the back of your truck like the gentleman over there and they'll help you with accessories. But I think a lot of times people are going to get this and have it shipped to their house. So again, it is a little bit heavier. It comes in two boxes and you have to uh, add the front wheel. It's quick release and then add the two rear wheels and there's just a little bolt in there. So it's it's 
fairly straightforward, but there's just a little bit more doing. You might want to get a friend to help you with that, um, especially if you're a little bit older and maybe bending over and lifting stuff uh, was an issue. Uh, John's hanging out with me here, and he was talking about the different options for moving it, and I see there's a, there's a bike rack back there. Can you describe, you know, if someone wants to, if you don't have a truck and a ramp, how, how do people get this around? Yeah, good question. So we've had a lot of requests about uh, carrying it on a car. You need to have a two-inch receiver on your vehicle, mm -hmm. but the Hollywood track is actually designed for a tricycle. will support up to 90 pounds, wow. so it's well within the range. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a great option to transport by car. Just make sure that you don't have all your gear in the back of the trike when you do make that. It in for me. I'm gonna. Uh, is it alright to come back here and absolutely. do a little tour? So this is what he's calling. It's a Hollywood so Hollywood rack with with these kind of sliders here, so you can put the two rear nice. wheels in those little uh, sliders, and then the front wheel up here. Right. Um, that's kind of cool. And I've seen people who have the little trailers, like a lawnmower trailer, you know, thing that goes behind their car. Correct. And you can get it up on a ramp pretty easily with that if you have a, a trailer to pull it as well. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's it. For the full written review on this, I'll see you at electricbikereview.com. I've got some other electric trikes there that you can kind of compare and stuff. But, you know, this is this one's definitely, uh, it's been pretty impressive for me. I appreciate the extra time, John. Have fun out there, you guys. Ride safe.